Michael O'Reilly, Mill Park Secondary College and Teachers Alliance. In her report, Mary outlined really clearly why we are here. We are here in the thousands today to send a strong and unambiguous message to the value government. We are here to demonstrate that we are prepared to fight for state education. We are here to fight for the working conditions and pay of all teachers. That is why we were asked to wear red and why we are marching. We are demonstrating our solidarity and preparedness to fight. We are demanding publicity and a change in government policy. Mary has outlined the many reasons why we need to win this campaign. But in the Sunday Age last weekend, Ted Bowdew himself outlined the reasons why this campaign is crucial. He came out on the front foot, aggressively outlining his vision for state education. His vision is very simple. Teachers in state schools are to do much more with less, while he spends more on private schools. I applaud the leadership motion. It's far-reaching and comprehensive, but it desperately needs to be strengthened. This is the amendment. It's simply in addition to Part B. It reads, including a further 24-hour statewide stop work and mass meeting be called in the first month of Term 3 to review the progress of the campaign and decide on further action. So, all I'm moving is the addition of a timeline for the next 24-hour statewide stop work and mass meeting. Let's send this message to the Value Government right now. Don't wait for later next term or fourth term or next year. Ted Baliu needs a clear, unambiguous message from us. We are here to fight. We need the next stop work and mass meeting early in term three. Our agreement expired at the end of December last year. We've sat back and watched the nurses wage their successful campaign against the odds it seemed. They maintained their patient ratios and one rise is above 2.5%. Their campaign has shown us the way to win. It's time for us to fight. The strategy must be to bring on a political problem for the Bayou government. We've taken the first step today with this stop work, but we must build on the start. We can't afford to lose this momentum. It's a defeatist attitude to go back to school next term without the date of our next 24 hour stop work. We should give the government another deadline in which to reach agreement, or else we'll be here again early in term three. Let's put the ball back in the government's court. The message from this meeting to go to the media, the public and the government clearly needs to be that the AEU is prepared to fight and that we won't accept a second-rate agreement. Bailey has come out fighting. We need to respond and we need to do it sooner rather than later. through a membership consultation is comprehensive. It was not for the same conditions and a bit more than 2.5 per cent. Read the other time. Close? 30 seconds. Okay. But that's the sort of agreement, it's exactly the agreement we'll get if we don't fight. We need another mass meeting early in term three. The council and the executive needs to have a strategy with a timeline to bring to the mass meeting. By not responding quickly, we are weakening our position. Engaging in a protracted campaign doesn't mean we'll get a better outcome. The best outcome will be achieved by creating a political problem for the Bayou government. We can't wait for the next state election. That is the sort of political pressure that our leadership is waiting on, waiting for. We can be in charge of our own destiny. Let's show the government how angry we are and let's escalate the dispute. Please support the amendment. Richard. Speakers in debate on the amendment. The process is we now debate the amendment, determine its fate before we go back to the, um, the motion. Any speakers in debate? Just, uh, James?